This is a great question. So this comes from a recent post I did about surgical menopause, and you wanna know about what if you had a partial hysterectomy. So if by partial hysterectomy, you mean a hysterectomy where your ovaries are left intact, theoretically, that should not change your hormones, right? Because your ovaries are still in there. However, it is very good to know what the symptoms of menopause are because most women whose ovaries are left intact after a hysterectomy will go through the menopause transition earlier from about one to three years sooner than they would have had they not had the hysterectomy. In some rare cases, which is what happened to me, you can actually go into menopause immediately because blood flow to the ovaries can be impacted by surgery. So my ovaries were left intact, but they did not get the memo they could keep functioning. And I immediately after surgery started having symptoms, but I did not connect them to menopause because I did not know what happens in the menopause transition. So my first symptoms were really bad brain fog, memory lapses, word finding problems, new rashes and allergies. Allergies. I had a horrible case of plantar fasciitis. I was gaining weight. My cholesterol was creeping up. I couldn't sleep. I had no idea that had anything to do with menopause. So knowing the symptoms of menopause would have helped me figure it out a heck of a lot sooner. It wasn't until I had a hot flash that I figured it out. So know the symptoms so you can start treating it as soon as they happen and you don't waste time running to specialist to specialist like I did trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with you. Also, I would highly recommend you start making those lifestyle changes now. <laughs> the sooner you start you know, prioritizing your health, making sure that you're lifting weights, doing strength training regularly, eating a whole food, nutrient-dense diet that prioritizes protein and fiber, make sure you're prioritizing your sleep, regulate your nervous system, all of those things will put you in a much better position for going through the menopause transition. I wish I had started all of that a lot earlier and it would have saved me a lot of headache as well. Um, if you go to the link in my bio, I have an audio series. It's called Menopause Doesn't Have to Suck. It's a five part, it's only 20 minute audio series that explains the stages of menopause, the symptoms and why we have so many symptoms, the lifestyle pillars that make the biggest difference and also goes in a little bit about the treatment options. So both hormonal and non-hormonal treatment options. Menopause hormone therapy is a very safe, very effective treatment, and most women are candidates, and there's some information in that audio series about that as well if you wanna learn more about it.